morning world, it's Deborah here. Today is day 23 of my alternate day fasting lifestyle and it's the first day of week four. So I'm coming into the home stretch. I feel amazing. To oh, today's my fast day. I feel so amazing. I feel like I've really conquered some big stuff over the last, well, for sure over the last two weeks. So I'm excited to move forward. I've made a decision because I had made a commitment to do ADF for 30 days. So at the end of this video will be 30 days, like of the video for week four. So I made a decision if I'm going to continue or not, or what I'm going to move forward with. So I'll share that at the end on my last day. And yeah, just talk about all of that at that point. So I've also really done some work around hunger and how to work with my fast days and just kind of how I want to approach my fast days. And I'm really, uh, really feeling good about that. And, um, maybe I'll share that at the end. Just know I'm having a freaking awesome day and it's a mental shift that, that has happened for me. So I'm having a great day. I went to this, um, calisthenics park and now I'm going to run some errands, drinking lots of water. I had a second coffee cause just cause I wanted to. And yeah, so here's to another awesome day. All right, guys, have a great week. Today is day 24 of my alternate day fasting lifestyle and it is my eat day and got on this scale, went up one pound, um, but that's okay. I know that I woke up really bloated. It's so weird how I've been, um, when I break my fast, like somehow through the night, all I can attribute that to is probably cleansing because I always usually hit autophagy. I go, I try to go from 36 to 40 hours. So almost always in the 38 hour, 39 hour. So that's fine. Um, what else? Uh, yesterday, my fast day was amazing. Oh God, it was smooth, easy. I was busy. I was doing stuff. There were a couple moments where I felt hunger, but mildly so nothing that was alarming and I think my body is just really acclimatized to knowing that when I'm in that fast day it's not like we're gonna die right or like it doesn't freak out like it used to so grateful um oh yeah and then I broke my fast this morning with this most amazing oatmeal dish and I'll probably share the recipe for that Maybe I'll do a what I eat in a day just because I've come up with some things around my digestion and kind of the a new meal plan. It's not new, but I'm building it. And so this is, I think, the second or third time I've done this oatmeal dish. It's just divine. I like, uh, yeah, so I'll share that at some point. Um, I think that's it today. Yesterday I went to the calisthenics park, did amazing workout. Um, and then this morning I thought I would go back, but I found that my workout at the calisthenics park yesterday, even though it was my fast day and it was in the morning, um, I feel like the food that I had eaten the night before, like the day before on my, on my eat day, you know, contributed to me having feeling strong and energized. And so I did it, I did a great workout and then the rest of my day fasted, but I was busy doing other things. And then when I woke up this morning, I thought, Oh, I'll head back to the calisthenics park. But 
I didn't feel it. And you know, cause my, when I wake up on the morning of my eat day, I've already fasted like 39 hours and my body's done a lot of cleansing and all that kind of stuff. So anyways, just going to roll with that. Let my body kind of decide, um, which days work better for different activities that I want to do. So I'm going to close out day 24. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hi guys, it's Deborah. Today is day 25 of my alternate day fasting lifestyle. And today is my fast day. But I just wanted to share that yesterday ended up being such a weird eat day because <clears throat> I ended up picking up another position, a job, um, a physical job. It's actually like commercial cleaning, which I love because, you know, it's, it's hard work, but it's, I, I get to work very independently and I get that physical component though. It, this one is like hardcore. And also this particular one is in the evenings. So it's like starting around 5 PM and then work anywhere till from 10 p.m. till midnight so that's weird that was weird for my because it was my eat day yesterday and I I didn't manage it very well because I wasn't sure how to coordinate the whole thing such a dramatic change in my schedule and I ended up eating really healthy I had my oatmeal yesterday and then I had some uh, plant-based yogurt with some fruit and that was a mistake. I mean, I just didn't know. But anyways, the whole time at work, my stomach was bloated. And then, oh yeah, and then I had a Snickers bar because I wasn't sure how to fuel my body when working so hard so later in the day. So I ended up having a Snickers bar. And then when I got home at like 11 p.m., I was starving. So I ended up having some pasta which is like probably the worst thing for me to eat with some tomato uh, pasta sauce. I mean, I was so hungry, I ate it. Um, but what I determined that come like hell or high water, I'm doing ADF and the fasting part of this program for me is top priority. So last night I was like, oh my God. So I closed my win eating window at, 11 p.m. I think 11 11 30 and so with ADF as my priority fasting is the top priority in that and then I can figure I'm figuring out the nutrition my feast days but as long as I stick to that structure I'm good so <clears throat> so um, I'm fasting now since 11 last night I'm fasting all day and I'm working tonight and then I'll break my fast tomorrow um, around I guess 11 because I want to fast a minimum of 36 hours like that's for me that's the benefits I want from this um, and so yeah I was thinking that um, that's going to be okay if I break my fast at 11 and then maybe I'll have two portions of oatmeal, like one at 11 and then one around three ish. And then when I come home later in the night, I'll have to eat. Like, I just feel so hungry and I don't want to, I don't want to mess with nourishing my body on my feast days. So my fasts remain just filtered water, spring water and black coffee. That's it. So I thought, okay, I have, that's what I have to work with. And, and that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to rearrange things and figure it out as I go. But if in the next couple of days, like, um, my intention is to eat as healthy as possible, but there's, I feel like there's room in my feast days to kind of deal with these issues that come up in life because they're going to come up in life. But as long as I'm committed to my ADF, super strict fast days, and that for me is at least 36 hours, coffee and water only. 
that's what works for me. It's what I want to do. It's, um, it's my protocol. So it's like, I can do this. Yeah. So, oh, and then I'm implementing, I just, I know it's getting long. I'm going to say one more thing in my diet. I'm implementing, um, a whole foods plant-based diet for the most part. I'm not going to, it's not like, anyway, for the most part, but what I'm adding in are sprouted grains, uh, soaked, well, soaked grains and seeds and beans and legumes. And then, you know, I'm going to incorporate sprouting and fermented foods. I've done a lot. I've been doing a lot of research on healing your gut. And yeah, so I'm going to implement those things. I'm in the process of making my own sourdough bread. I started my starter uh, quite a few days ago. And so I'm in the process of doing my first sourdough loaf. Oh my God. And it, you know, I've done a lot of research on that and it's so good for your gut. There's like so many things. Maybe I'll do a video on it. Anyways, I'm going to close out day 25, just sharing all this stuff going on around ADF and stuff. So I hope everybody has an awesome day. here. Today is day 26 of my alternate day fasting lifestyle and I'm feeling so good. Um, today's my eat day but it's I have like 25 minutes to go till I hit the 36 hour mark. I could totally eat right now but I'm gonna wait because I really want to um, keep my fast minimum of 36 hours. So, blah, because yesterday was my fast day and I worked like from 4.30 till 9.30, physical work. Like, I had so much energy. I'm totally not, like, it, it was amazing to me. It feels like miraculous in a way because, I mean, I've never experienced this before. Oh, and so what's really hard is, so I'm going to break my fast, sorry, with my oatmeal that I soak uh, overnight and then I cook it and then I add the soaked um, hemp hearts and chia seeds. I usually also make cashew milk. I'm going to do a video about it, but I'm just, I'm not going to bother with that at this point, but I'll show you what I did make see how I do this um, and this is like the hardest thing so look at that guys homemade sourdough bread this one's for my son and my daughter-in-law and my grandson and this one's gonna be for me look at that yeah so that is just uh, organic white flour, organic rye flour, and salt fermented. Oh, so I'm going to have that. I have to eat my oatmeal, go out, and then come back. So basically, I'll have some of that sourdough for lunch. Whew, so excited. And then I'm thinking I have four more days to go till I hit the 30-day mark. Oh, and my weight today went down 0.6. Like it had gone up. Uh, a pound and now it's dropped 0.6 so I would love 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 to get to 179 at minimum 179.4 because that would be 10 pounds so if I don't I'm okay I mean I've lost what over eight pounds I'm happy right now with that uh, you know be bonus to get to 10 pounds anyway I felt great yesterday, no hunger whatsoever. I was busy. Um, I was a little bit hungry last night, but I was so tired. I had, you know, I had a shower and went to bed. And then 
I could definitely eat right now, but I'm going to wait the other 25 minutes, like I said. Sorry for repeating myself. Anyways, guys, I will see you tomorrow. Have an awesome day. Hi, guys. It's Deborah here. Today is day 27 of my alternate day fasting lifestyle. And I'm fasting today. It's actually the evening of the 27th. And I just wanted to share that it has been an incredibly difficult day. And I was just sitting here preparing myself for sleep, thinking, you know, how strong I feel, how empowered I feel. Several times I had to read my, my why list. Like it was a real battle and it hadn't been this hard since probably early in my first week or second week. I can't remember. It was, I had some tough days and then I kind of thought I was on a upward trajectory in terms of the struggle on my fast days and I have been, but I just went through a really challenging day with hunger and emotions around that and I just had to to really go deep again and I referred to my why list and it got me through and I'm, <laughs> I'm almost at the home stretch in terms of tomorrow being my eat day and I just I just want to acknowledge that there are days on this when it's so hard it really is it takes it takes a lot of inner strength and and conviction to really get through those moments so anyway i just wanted to share that um you know i'm i'm so just i just want to say like it's it's so doable even in the dark moments that um you know it builds this it it just builds some inner inner stuff that's I don't know how it could happen otherwise. Anyways, guys, I am signing out day twenty seven. Looking forward to my eat day tomorrow, and yeah, so I'll see you tomorrow. Today is day 28 of my alternate day fasting journey and today's my eat day. Thank God. Oh my God. Yesterday was brutal. So brutal. I did. It just came out of the blue. I didn't expect it and I certainly wasn't, I didn't prepare myself ahead of time <laughs> because all my fast days have been going so well. Anyways, I made it. It was hard. Anyway, yeah, I had to go really deep there. I'm happy today because I broke my fast, I think around 36 hours and 30 minutes um, with my homemade sourdough bread and homemade hummus. And what else did I have? Oh, and then I made some ho homemade oatmeal with hemp hearts and chia seeds and homemade cashew milk. <laughs> so it's like luxury eating day for sure. And then I just, um, I'm working today probably quite a few hours. So I just brought some more of my homemade bread and just to kind of nibble on if I'm hungry. And then probably when I get home, which will be late, uh, I'll probably eat something which will be probably around 10 p.m., but I'm okay with that because, um, yeah, it's just the way it's going to work out. So I lost another, I think, 1.6 pounds. So my weight today is 179.6. Holy shit. I'm like 0.2 pounds away from 10 pounds. 
But seriously, I'm like just over the moon. So happy. So like, so amazed because yeah, I mean, I'll talk about it at the end of my one month, which is two days away and just kind of share all of my impressions and thoughts around it. So, but right now, couldn't be happier. So happy, <laughs> so happy to eat today. And I just wanna, I'm gonna prepare myself mentally for tomorrow because literally I, it was like, yeah, it just crept up out of nowhere. And uh, it's okay, made it through, <laughs> dealt with it, worked through all that self-sabotage stuff, the, um, that mental, friggin uh, shit that goes on you know it, it was hard it was really hard anyway i'm here i'm so grateful moving forward i will see you guys tomorrow hi guys it's deborah and today is day 29 of my alternate day fasting lifestyle um today's my fast day I'm having a good day, I'm just so tired. So I slept quite a bit. Yesterday I ate a lot. So I don't know if that's part of it, but also this physical job, it's a, it's a new routine and different things like that. And it's different kinds of muscles that my body is using because I'm doing slightly different work with that. But, you know, I was thinking, reflecting on my body handling this kind of work and the stress that it is taking because I was also in quite a bit of pain and just wondering, like, why, you know, and I think it's there's a lot of reasons for for the pain that I feel in my body. But for sure, one of them is the extra weight and I carry most of my weight in my middle around my hips and that area. And that's a lot of stress. Like my goal is to lose 50 pounds and I've lost 10, but still that's 40 pounds on my middle section. Well, the majority of it's on my middle section. And that's like, that's a lot of stress on the body. So I've made a commitment as well to at the very least stretch every day and try to work those muscles because you know, I mean, I need or want this extra income that comes from this job and everything about it is perfect for me. So I don't want this extra 40 pounds to play a part in, in hindering me from, from reaching my goal in terms of my financial responsibilities and what I, what I want. Right. So yeah, and like I was thinking 40 pounds, if you think of a 10 pound bag of potatoes, how heavy that is times four around my middle. Anyway, even more committed to, to um, losing this weight. So yeah, just a little bit of sadness around there and kind of coming up with a plan and also being super proud of myself for, you know, losing these, well, well I won't know until tomorrow when I step on the scale, well, on the scale what my final total weight loss for thir these 30 days is but right now it's around I think 9.8 which is truly amazing I feel so blessed I'm so grateful for ADF and everything that's come from it all the all the benefits that I've gained like anyway I'll talk more about it tomorrow because tomorrow's my day 30 but anyway I'm just feeling blessed I feel supported by myself and I feel excited about the future because now I know. Anyways, guys, I'm off to work. <laughs> so I will see you tomorrow for my day 30 and my weigh in and all that stuff. Okay, have an awesome day.